Is it cluttered? Yeah, but it's- Whoa, what is this? Wolf attack. How many? One. We're good. Oh, he's going after the kid. No. Hey, how's it going, Spy here? Welcome back to another Dawn of Man episode. Last episode, we started out in the Paleolithic Age and advanced to the Mesolithic Age. And what I want to do today is I want to advance a little more. We're going to research some of this stuff here. Maybe dog domestication because we need some dogs to defend our community here from those ravenous cat people. And maybe we'll get into the Neolithic Age as well. But I also want to go out and maybe find some more dangerous creatures. Bigger ones like the woolly rhino and maybe a elephant or mammoth. I think there's some rhinos down over here. Yeah. So we have this big guy here hiding in the bush because he knows I'm talking about him. He knows I might come and hunt him for all his meat. And then over here we have an old male. I think this guy's in the orange. Yep. And this guy's in the red. So we might have to hunt an orange woolly rhino because the red one might obliterate us. So let's head back to our little colony here. As you can see, we have a ton of people. I just started the game up and three more people joined. There's 17 people in our civilization here. Holy man, we got seven points, which means we can actually get dog domestication. So here we go. Boom! That allows us to go up here to goat domestication once we get to the Neolithic age. Holy man, this game is complex. Pretty awesome though. And to get to the next age, we need to get cereal domestication. We're gonna grab some cereal, put it in a bowl, pour the milk, and eat the cereal. I don't think we're that advanced yet. So there we go, dog domestication unlocked. Dogs will slowly come to the settlement and will help you protect it. Well, I don't think we have any dogs yet. I'm gonna speed up the time, so maybe a dog will come here. I don't know how that really works. We should be able to like go out and tame ourselves a dog, but uh, I, don't, I really don't know how this works. All right, so let's gather up some points and get researching. I think I'm going to have to get some more people fishing and stuff because this... Oh, wait, our fish is back here. Why, why aren't they fishing? Maybe we got a lot of food. Yeah, get this up to like 15, 20 fish maybe. I seen a bear over here. I don't know where he went. Yeah, right there. That's a young female bear and I don't know if you're going to be able to take her out by yourself. Oh, it's, it's fall. Oh, she's fishing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought she was going to spear... Oh, wait, what's that? Cave bear attack, where? Oh no, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. We got cave bears, guys. We got cave bears attacking our settlement. Everyone advance and attack that bear. Defend our colony. Take him down, take him down. Uh oh, oh jeez. Guys, help her. Help her. Oh jeez, don't die, no one die. Yes, we got it. That is a big bear too. Adult male cave bear. It gives us three raw skin and four raw meat. Amazing, he just came to us. Uh-oh, what? Bullock has died of old age? No, did he just die fishing? He died fishing! He fell in the water, Bullock. No, well, I guess that's kind of a nice burial area, right in the water, because it will supply the water with nutrients, make the fish grow, and our people will flourish with more fish. What? I don't even know. So let's go over to the knowledge progress to see what we need to get for more knowledge. Let's make four wooden harpoons and two bone harpoons. One, two, three, four, and there we go. Now we should get some knowledge out of that. That old guy's crafting us some stuff. We need to get a bunch more clothes for our people too because we do have a bunch of new people here. Except one guy did die, so now we're down to a population of 16 and a capacity of 21. So I seen over here we can extract water I'm gonna put an extract water point right there so that our people can gather water when they need it. Uh, we also need grain processing. What do I need for grain processing? Oh, okay. I just need to get seven points for that. Just a few more. Should I? Oh, oh those horses scared me. <laughs> oh, it's raining. Okay, let's look in here. Look right there. Woolly rhino. Two knowledge points for one kill. Yeah, let's gather a group of people here. Not the kids. Uh, the group of people here. Is that good? Four people to hunt. A woolly rhino. Okay, guys. Uh, you should probably equip weapons. But you know what? We're going in. I think he was back <gasps> right there. Going for the kill. Is that a dead bear? I think it is. Yep. <laughs> okay, guys. Go up and attack this woolly rhino. They're running over here. Wait. R run over here, guys. Uh, regroup. They're taking forever. Holy man. We're just hunting a woolly rhino. What is that? Hold on. Is that a cat? That's a dog. Wait. Is that our dog? <gasps> wait, wait, wait. I think that might be our, our dog. Wait, hold on. Did we get any dogs at our community here? Oh, 
We got a young male dog right there. Look at him. Aw, that's sweet. So we actually have dogs defending our settlement now. I think that one at the river too is coming over here to defend us as well. Okay, guys, are you ready for the hunt? Yes, no, maybe so. I don't think they're ready. Okay, here you go. Attack that rhino. Wait, what? Really? They literally just threw a spear at him and he's done for. Oh my gosh, 11 meat and 8 hide. Holy jeez, you see that? There's so much stuff here. <laughs> we have another dog. We got two dogs defending our community here. Two puppers. And it is winter now. We have nine knowledge points. Let's go over here. Should we get stone polishing? Because that allows us copper smelting down over here. Let's go with grain processing. So we can get some bread making. I really don't know how this works, but we got it. Did we get anything we could build? We got a haystack. Well, let's make this over here, I guess. Uh, what else can we make? A mortar, a rock to crush grain into flour. We're probably gonna want that to be pretty close to our center of our town so people can like smash it up and then process it into bread. So I don't think there's any elephants or mammoths on this map. We got boars there. I can't see any mammoths though. More cats. Oh, <gasps> right there. Oh, look at them. Do we have to hunt one of those this episode? No, we already hunted a rhino. They have 540 health. These have 600 though. So I don't think they're too much more difficult. If you guys would like to see me hunt a mammoth, let me know down below in the comments. I'm kind of lost. Where is my colony? <laughs> Found it. They're still gathering the meat from the rhino. There's like a ton of people going over there. <laughs> Okay, I think we're gonna need another storage tent because this one's completely full. Let's build another. We're gonna put this one beside the other one, I guess. You know what? This one could just go right here. Good enough. New human was born. Oh, they instantly turn into a toddler looking child there. Uh, they're not really a baby. They're just instantly a little child there. Okay, dog protect. <laughs> Mortar is built right there. And now we can make flour from cereals. I don't know if we have any flowers at the moment. That's okay. Winter's almost over, so we can harvest some plants to turn them into flour. Then we can make us some bread. But I think I also need to go over here and I need to make another hearth so people can cook food when someone's already using this one. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. And there's the haystack, so they can put the hay on there and then we can take it off when we need it. And winter is over. And here's spring. Look at all the plants start growing. So we need to gather us some cereals. Where are these cereals? Is that them? That's rye. Can we use rye? What? Our dogs grew up to adult male dogs. They have quite a bit of health too, 70. Uh, we also have to feed them and stuff. Oh, I didn't know that. But these guys, oh yeah, they definitely could protect us. Look how big they are compared to this guy here. Holy man, they're pretty much just little wolf dog people. Cute. There's an old aurochs right here. Hunt that. Is there any more around? No, he's just wandering by himself. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. We got bears. We got a lot of bears. I think we can hunt a bunch of those to get more knowledge points. Okay, guys. We're going in to hunt us some bears. Is it a good idea to rush? <laughs> are they standing up? <laughs> they are. Is it a good idea to rush all my people into these bears? I don't know. Hold on. I want to see this. Oh. <laughs> <gasps> That's kind of creepy. Okay, here come our people. Get the bears. Oh, jeez. Get them, get them, get them. Yep, there we go. We got one bear. Okay, pause. Uh, there's another bear. Get that one. Get that one. There we go. We need to take them all out because we don't want any dangerous animals near our settlement. These bears are running towards... Oh, no, they're going. Got another one. Let's grab this guy here. Oh, that person's injured. Get all of them. Just get all the bears. Boom. I think there was one more somewhere. Right there. Hunt that bear. It's probably a bad thing that I'm hunting all these carnivorous animals. Oh, our population just reached 20. And we got three points out of that. Oh, okay. You just like knifed him. Now he's running away. Got him. I think we hunted enough bears for today. That was four or five bears. That's going to be a ton of meat. Holy. We got 20 people as well with 11 knowledge. So we're going to get pulse processing and then we could get some cereal domestication, which allows us to plant cereal, maybe. And then we're going to have to go up to this line, which is the last one, which is all the metals, copper, bronze, iron. We should probably get archery though. <laughs> I don't know why we haven't, but fortifications. Oh, we could build like a fort. 
So I'm looking at my people here and they have really low morale and they don't want to use the totem here for some reason. So I think I'm going to go and get spirituality right here so they could get some totems. Uh, we could build this totem, a structure to honor the nature. Oh, okay. Where are we going to throw this? Let's throw it behind this tent. That's going to cost quite a bit of materials, but I think it will help our morale in the long run. Build it up. It'll make you happy, I guess. Check it out. The totem is done. That thing looks sweet. Now, let's see if this helps our morale quite a bit. Is there going to be people coming over here? Let's see. There you go. Hunter nature. There we go. Their morale is going up a bit. And here's fall. So we can start harvesting some of this stuff here to maybe break it down into bread. We'll see how that goes. So we are pretty close to capacity on our population. We should probably build some more tents. I'm going to build some over here. We're going to start a little circle circle going on here. So one right there. I'm going to put another one here. So we're going to get tanning now. Production. Tanner. A place to make leather from skins. Okay, collect tannin. Oh, we get it from trees? Place that in there. Grab some tanning so we can tan some leather. Now, how good is these leather clothes? Uh, it seems skin outfits are better, but I guess we can make a few. And there's our tanning station being built. Now we can start tanning some leather. <gasps> Look at this. <gasps> They're breaking down the grain to make flour. And this guy's baking some bread. They baked some bread. Oh, that's awesome. We have three breads. The welfare of the community too is at 88%. It's going up. The totem helped. As well as maybe some bread. Okay, I see some... Holy man, look at this right here. Oh, all these reindeer? Maybe I should set up a hunting area right about there. We don't want to hunt too many. We, we want them to... We want them to repopulate. People, what are you doing? Just hunt a few of them, not all... You know what? It's all right. It's all right. Let them do what they want. They know what they're doing. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> we just got three new people and a, a new human was born. What? He didn't give us any points though. Oh, because we need one more. <laughs> Hey, we survived winter and there's a bunch of bison up here. <laughs> okay, we'll hunt a few of those ones here. There we go. Don't want to hunt all of them. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, did we get one at least? No. Oh, tag that one. He's charging. He's charging. Yes, we got him. Oh, he's back. He's back. Oh, no. What's going on? There's a stampede of bison. We got three. Oh, is that one coming back? No, no. We're good. And a new human was born, which means we get a bunch more points of that. We got seven. We just need eight more. We're almost at capacity again. I'm going to have to build another tent. Two being made. Keta has contracted an infection. Uh-oh. How do you cure an infection? Oh, jeez. Uh, she might die. Go to sleep. Just sleep it off. Just sleep off the infection. She's just slowly dying. I am going to make another totem down over here. I think our community is running pretty well so far. I just want to get to the next age. Um, if you guys are enjoying this game though and want to see more, make sure to smash that like button and let me know down below what you would like to see next in this game. Am I doing good? Yeah, we haven't died yet. That's a good sign. Our totem has been built. Should I make a skull pull back here as well? You know what? Yeah, I'm going to build one right next to that other one. Oh my gosh, three more people have joined. We're going to have to build more tents. We're going to start turning this way, though. Look at this little community going around here. We're going to build like a full circle. That's going to be our center of our future town. It's going to be amazing. We're going to get walls all around this to prevent animals from eating our humans. None have succeeded yet, though, which is a great sign. Is that, that dog? Okay, I thought that dog was bowing down in front of that totem. I was going to be a little concerned. I am going to need another storage tent. Am I doing this wrong or what? I, I don't know. Okay, this storage tent right there. So we got like a little storage area back here. Is it cluttered? Yeah, but it's wolf. What is this? Wolf attack. How many? One. We're good. Oh, he's going after the kid. No. Uh, I wish our dogs were a little closer to that wolf. Go, 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 go. Run, run, run. Oh, he, he is stalking that kid. Get that kid. I mean, not the kid. Get the wolf. There we go. <laughs> One spear. Kid, what are you doing over here? Get back home. Weirdo. <laughs> Guys, we just need one more knowledge point to get to the next age. What's that noise? Oh, there's a boar right there. And we got it. Next age, here we come. Serial domestication, bam. We are now in the Neolithic age, even though all we did was 
research how to domesticate cereals. But if we get seven points, we can start getting walls and we could get goats. I want goats. Oh man, pigs, everything. We can even get uh, underground mining. That sounds cool. And well digging. That's gonna be helpful. There's so much good stuff in this. I don't think we're gonna get all that stuff this episode. We also need to get sledge making so we can get sledge. Oh man, I'm overwhelmed. Farming allows you to automate the production of food and sustain more people in your settlement. You can now plant a variety of crops, then harvest and process them to feed your people. That's amazing. That's so helpful, but we need sickles. Cereal domestication. This is one of the most important texts in the history of mankind because cereal is amazing. To get sickles for cereal domestication, we actually have to research that up here at stone polishing, which I don't have quite yet. And to get to the next age, which is copper age, we need 20 points to get copper smelting. That's going to be a little tough because we're going to need a lot of this stuff here. Well, I'm going to want a lot of this stuff here. So down over here, we got this plant button and we can plant grains. Let's plant emmer. Wait, okay. Which one's the best? Barley's pretty good, but emmer looks nice. You know what? Let's make a little field like right here. Oh, look at that. That's kind of neat. We'll make a little field there. Boom. Made a little field. Are they doing anything with it? Uh, maybe. Maybe it just grows by itself. It is also fall, so I don't think it will grow quite yet. Maybe in spring and summer, and then we harvest it in the fall. But anyways, guys, we did so much this episode. We got a ton more people. We're at 29 people. I think that's a civilization. Pretty close. Uh, next episode, we're probably going to research a bunch of this stuff. I want to get some animals, like goats, maybe some sheep. Let's get a well, maybe some walls. There's so much we could do. If you guys have any suggestions on what you would like to say, throw it down in the comments below. But for now, guys, we're gonna leave this episode off here so thank you guys for watching and subscribing and remember stay sweet bye